I can't believe the events that have occurred in the last, what, 48 hours. I said, I've been saying that a little bit more recently, but Billboard just released their top 10 greatest rappers list of all time. I nearly vomited. I had to hold myself down, get a drink of water, stare at the sun for a bit. That way I could fry my eyes from ever watching something as ridiculous as this. Billboard's top 10 greatest rappers of all time. Number one, Jay-Z, Hove. Number two, Kendrick Lamar, the GOAT, the one and only. Number three, Nas. Number four, Tupac. Number five, Eminem. Number six, Biggie. Seven, Lil Wayne. Eight, Drake. Nine, Snoop Dogg. Ten, Nicki Minaj. Now, before I give in my personal opinion about this list, it's important to understand when it comes to top 10 greatest rappers list, there is, I always feel there's always flexibility on here. Even if there's certain rappers I wouldn't add on my top 10, the rappers that are chosen could be ones that are just like, I could see why you chose them, or they're interchangeable with the rappers I would choose. So for example, Nas and Tupac, those are two rappers that at times can't crack my top 10 depending on like what kind of phase I'm in as far as my music and at times maybe even top five I could respect those now Snoop Dogg at a top 10 greatest rappers list fuck no <laughs> hell no and, and you know and I say that respectfully like if anybody genuinely believes Snoop Dogg is in their top 10 I mean hey there's only so much I could say because music is subjective but fuck no um, with that, my number one problem right here off the rip is Jay-Z at the number one spot. How? How is this possible in comparison to Kendrick Lamar? Kendrick Lamar rap better, has a better discography, sounds better, flows better. His albums, everything about his music is just on another level above Jay-Z's. And this is coming from somebody that, granted, I am going throughout Jay-Z's discography. I've been attempting to listen more of Jay-Z. That way I could understand why somebody may view Jay-Z as the number one rapper as the best but I, I don't understand it's impossible he can't be number one over Kendrick Lamar Jay-Z ain't even better than Lil Wayne he ain't better than Lil Wayne as a matter of fact Lil Wayne surpassed Jay-Z all the way back in 2008 when Mr. Carter dropped I did a video about that go check that out if you haven't Kendrick Lamar his debut album better than half of Jay-Z's discography section 80 good kid Mad city there ain't a single Jay-Z album besides the blueprint that's better than Good Kid, Bad City. I could see arguably be better than Good Kid, Bad City. Like I could hear someone talk about the blueprint. Anything, anything else, I don't want to hear. And the blueprint even then is sort of like, you taking it a little bit too far comparing to Good Kid, Mad City. To Pimp a Butterfly, ain't nothing better than To Pimp a Butterfly. Jay-Z don't got a single project better than To Pimp a Butterfly. Damn, he don't even got a single project arguably better than Damn. And Damn, ain't that some shit. Now, Untitled All Master, I mean... You know, it's a collection of songs. We're going to calm down. A big collection of songs. And Mr. Round the Big Steppers for free. Um, with that, of course, I'm citing mainly Kendrick Lamar albums because at the end of the day, it's Kendrick Lamar and the albums. And I don't, I know I'm not adding too much, too much substance behind that. But, yo, anytime there is a top 10 greatest rappers list and number one isn't K-Dot, if number one isn't the guy that was messing with Shireen, if number one isn't Kendrick Lamar, throw the whole list away. Throw the whole list away, wipe it from the table, delete it from the computer. Don't ever let that shit leave the USB drive. Don't ever go onto another TV screen. My eyes have recovered since, um, you know, I blinded myself from watching this. But going on from the rest of this over here, like when it comes to Nas, Tupac, Eminem, um, Biggie. Well, actually Nas through Eminem. I, I could see those on the top tens. Biggie. I could respect it. Me personally, I wouldn't have Biggie in my top 10. Lil Wayne needs to be top five. I think in any list, Lil Wayne definitely needs to be top five. Uh, Drake, I've always, I've had this, this bit of conflict with Drake ever since the whole entire reference track's leaking with, if you're reading this, it's too late, the whole Quentin Miller situation. Because at the end of the day, if you're not even writing, so if you're not even writing raps, we, we got to question it to a certain degree. It's something I've been in conflict with because Drake does rap. I mean, write for other rappers, whether it is Kanye West, whether it was Dr. Dre all the way back when he was just 19 years old. And, you know, a couple more rappers. I'm just not going to go down that rabbit hole. He also has a pen that writes for other rappers. So that is a bit conflicting. Snoop Dogg at 10. Look at my face. For those of you guys that are listening to this on streaming platforms, I, I have this like the most nonchalant straight face right now, like Snoop Dogg. And you know what? 
I I respect Billboard for having Nicki Minaj on the number 10 spot. I, I will push Nicki in, in this, in this, I will push Nicki to the number nine spot. I'll, I'll have Snoop Dogg after Nicki. Nicki's a better rapper than Snoop Dogg. Yeah, you heard it from me here too. And I, you know, I, I don't believe Nicki Minaj gets enough respect when it comes to her rapping abilities. And I could also understand why, just because whenever it does comes to her albums, the way they're structured and the way they do have those pop elements into it, they, she doesn't exactly have instrumentals where whenever she does rap, it would give it that sort of ambience to be like, oh, she like, she rapping. Whenever we throw in those pop instrumental on there, it just makes it feel more melodic than it should be whenever they are bars. Now, what she might lack in some crazy double, triple entendres or even storytelling elements, she definitely carries when it comes to character, when it comes to animation, flows, impeccable, high energy. And she does have those punchlines that she's learned from Lil Wayne, likewise what Drake has learned from Lil Wayne, and does have some funny, uncanny, at times aggressive, and at times just, you know, um, how, how would I say, at times entertaining metaphors that they, 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 they do the job. But with all of that pushed in together with the replayability of her music and the way she's been able to reach superstardom make amazing sounding hits along with that i would i would see why Nicki minaj as far as this list but everybody here should be at the number nine spot now to take things a step further is there anything i would change if i only had these people on my top 10 list anything i would change definitely kendrick we going number one and for the second spot based on what we have here i'm gonna go with lil wayne kendrick number one lil wayne at number two from there I will put Eminem at the number three spot. Right after Eminem, I'm gonna have Nas, Tupac, Biggie. Actually, I take that back, I take that back. After, let's see, Kendrick, Lil Wayne, Eminem. You know, I might, I might, I take that back. I might have Drake in the top three. I might have to take Drake in the top three. And right now you guys are watching this and you already see how it's already hard for me just off the rip to be like, how would I structure it? Just because a top 10 list, I feel it's extremely hard to get right. Whenever we're, you know, getting our bias aside, just because everything's so subjective. 